hello guys welcome once again today I will show you how to sort your data or search your data and set into the table between two values for example if you want to show in the table the pressure between 15 and 35 for example so you must enter these values somewhere and here in the table only you want to see the values between 15 and 35 so how would you do that I will show you today <coughs> so go to your JFrame I have already taken a combo box and these text field and given them the variable name and I also take a button and given it the variable name in order to save time in the combo box I have written five names from which I can choose on the basis of which I want to choose <coughs> pressure voltage flow, temperature, rotational speed and torque so I will choose here whatever I will choose here those, val they, those th that value will be selected and you can give here the minimum and the maximum value and when you press ok it will be shown into your J table <coughs> so let's get started I click your J button, go to event, action, and action performed. And in here, I have already made my try catch block. So it's easy, you can make it by yourself, I hope. And then right here, we want to declare two strings first is well one is equal to the name of your minimum text field copy it the variable name my variable name is m i n so dot get text and in the same way declare another string whose variable name is 2 and your text field variable name my text field max variable name is max so declare two variable in which you take the text field value and declare another string and here you copy the name of your combo box copy the variable name of your combo box my combo box variable name is combo parameter paste it here dot get selected item so write this and here it will show error because item is not a string so after get selected item you should write dot set string then the error will go now we will write our query so right here string SQL is equal is equal to and here you should write select 
star from whatever is your uh, table name my table name is user info so here and then write where your column name so we are sorting right now the dates between the pressure column so I will write the pressure column name here so write pressure and then you must write between and here is the tricky part between what so you should write single quote inside single quote you take two double quotes inside double quotes you take two plus sign and copy your minimum value variable name and paste it here and then write and and write the same thing again but the variable name is different this time to this maximum variable variable name so where pressure between value 1 and value 2 and then here yeah, write est or connection name prepare statement con dot prepared statement and in here sql like that and after that write rs is equal to pst dot execute query and after that you must copy the name variable name of your table so my variable name I copied paste here then dot set model and inside the set model write db util dot result to nested no result set to mm, table model so write here this and I think now you are good to go but here we forgot one thing we forgot to place a condition where we choose the J combo box choose the value for from J combo box so we have to write here above the try block we have to write if condition and just close the try catch block in if condition and then in here write your variable name which is temp this is the variable name for the combo box selected item so I write temp double equal to and in double quotes write the parameter name so my parameter name for example I want to choose first pressure so I will copy it and paste it here so whenever I choose pressure 
this code will open and once again else if here write tmp is equal to double quotes and in here you can write the second value from the j combo box which is volume flow so you can copy it and paste it here so if you write the same code in as above for pressure in here and if you select volume flow then this all code would be same but here we are selecting the value bit the value where your volume flow rate value should change so instead of pressure you should write the name of your column name which is volume flow so i will place it here volume flow whenever you choose volume flow then this query will take place so now let's try to run the program and check if we are correct or not so in here for example i want to see volume flow rate and in between i want to see the value between 22 and for example 50 so i will write 20 and 50 i want to see volume flow and when i click ok here volume flow rate we can see only between 20 and 50 and all the other less than 20 and more than 50 values are not shown in the table once again i want to see the pressure between 10 and 35 so you press ok and now you can see only the pressure between 10 and 35 or I want to see the pressure between 10 and 20 so you can now see the pressure between 10 and 20 so this was a tutorial how to sort your values in the J table I hope you have enjoyed and learned something new and I think I should close this video now so please rate comment and subscribe and thanks for now